actually no i'll take that back i'll bail out skyler uh only to send him to therapy and this is my plea of insanity <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, when you have schizophrenia. Uh, I was gonna say today's therapy or medieval therapy, because those yeah. two terms are very different. Yeah, those are very different terms. <laughs> it's fine. I'm only accidentally. I mean. All right. Cool, cool for Australia. I'm over here in America where we have a cool machine in Ohio that just twists people's head off. Have you seen that oh thing? My God. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It genuinely does what the fuck? It totally rips people's That's disgusting. Head off. Where? Let, me, let me find let me find the uh, the thing. If you've um, not seen it, they're talking about it and it's like it painlessly rips the head off. And it just, <laughs> it just, it just oh yeah, the head. Maybe. You're talking about the one that like releases those sonic waves so you don't feel anything. Allow me to quickly and painlessly rip your fucking head off. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But by the logic of that whole scientific thing, because it's supposed to send like these like frequency waves into the person's ears so that they don't feel anything and then rips their head off. So, Nasalia and like um Jan, I'm gonna need you guys to cast shatter it from opposite directions at an enemy. I'll run at them with my axe. Rip the head off. I hit you in the way for murder. Like, literally, this is what it looks like. Yeah. God. It literally oh, just yeah, yeah. And pulls up and twists. Yeah, it's there we go. Uh, I... There we go. It, it, it's showing the frequency waves on the speaker. Okay. <laughs> so I guess the world is turning into Mad Max more and more by the second. I don't mind that. <laughs> You said decent. I don't think any of us bought anything. <laughs> oh, what? A... Oh, what? Because none of us have money for this. We have a lot of money. We're just not spending it because we're goblins. No. We're literal goblins. I have a shopping yeah. list. It's just not here. She doesn't sell flasks of oil, that. more rope. Not that she has piano wire, okay? <laughs> Mana Seth to tell me to buy two bags of holding and then put them in one another to create a black hole. <laughs> Would you summon an astral dragon, perhaps? I can make it two nah. bags of holding. If we just <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait! And upon destruction, you regain two yeah, more. Two infusions. I can make two more afterwards, but it's only the gold for it. Wait, just make me two bags of holding. And then I can create black holes everywhere. <laughs> yes. Effectively. <laughs> yes, that's where I was planning to go after we finished with the magic store. Uh, so who said my name? No one. I'm, what if we did like separate voice chats for every story we went into? That way people like, I, th oh, uh, never I did that in another campaign. It was pretty funny. That would be... That would be... That's insanity. It'd be so much effort and time. Yeah. It's true. It was. <laughs> um, you have to take, like, two tickets to wait who goes to show. I like the idea of, like, where DMs pull one player aside when they're telling them something silly that the players can't hear. Oh, yeah. I mean, that that's a common thing that'll most likely happen here. Yeah. Also... Uh, I, I do want to be here for Nasali's uh, arms race, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the entire world versus Nasali for an arms race. <laughs> oh my god, Nasali, the new god of war. I was going to say, you can't be, you can't lose a competition if you're the only competitor, but. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably get back into D&D. &D. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's, let's go back to... <laughs>
Right, let, let's go back to being questionable people again, right? So, uh, what are we going? I say, I say we go to the general store first. I agree. Oh. I have nothing but to buy, so sure. By any chance would there be flasks of oil, bags of caltrips, carpenter stools, piano wire, 20 feet of rope, 2 empty kegs, and 5 empty vials? <laughs> you might need to send him that list. <laughs> uh, I, I, I figured. Hmm. I kind of want to get a bed, I'm not going to lie. Why the fuck he wants a bed? <laughs> We're going to drag around the bed in the dungeon. <laughs> no, not in the dungeon, for the boat. Because we got, like, cots, but, like, no. what if I... If Nassar creates a bag of holding, we should carry a bed around. And then if we ever come again across, like, a shark in the ocean, we can just kill it with the head. <laughs> It's a very God intended purpose, which is sleeping. Jimmy, <laughs> it's a crime. We're defending the ship. As self protection. An, as an artificer, I disagree with using things for their intended purpose. <laughs> All right, I I think I'll buy it. Uh, how much is the tinder box? Four silver. I feel like a tinder box could be pretty useful. Actually, no, we do have fire cantrips, but I, I think using firebolt to start a fire probably a bad plan. I think I have. I actually box. can't start a fire with fireballs, which is kind of dumb. But do I have a tinder box? Yeah, I do have a tinder box. Didn't realize tinder was in. Oh, oh you already have a tinder box. Never mind then. Ah, oh, never mind then, because one of my t DMs was like, "Yeah, you're not burning this with firebolt." <laughs> yeah, so they don't even have. They don't even have a carpenter to move the night. Wait, doesn't fireball set stuff on fire? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably something uh, good. Wait, what, what were the only tools that they had? Hmm, what's in the burglar stack again? Because I believe there's a flask of oil in there. Huh? You had me at flasks of oil. I'm buying it. How much is it? <laughs> All right, he sold. Quick, quick question for the DM: Would tarot decks be a thing in this world? I think if Skyla sees one, they would just get out of curiosity. How much is the uh, Clivus pack? Twenty silver. Twenty-two gold. Twenty-two fucking gold. Right. Well, I'm gonna pay for that. Okay. Now I have an extra backpack that I can weaponize and or arm as a trap. <laughs> I think upon watching Skylar buy the tarot card deck, uh, Jan is immediately afraid that that 
spells out some new dastardly plot in Skylar's <laughs> mind. Uh, <Yeah. laughs> and Jan is going to wait outside. <laughs> wait, were that actually tarot cards there? Oh, how much was it? I'm definitely fine. I am grabbing that yoinker. Uh, actually, do they have a... Uh, I don't know if there's like a specific store for this, but uh, like a notebook? Yeah, just like an empty book. Mm. Take notes about your D&D character taking notes in their notebook. Yes, <laughs> that's commitment to roleplay. <laughs> Key in mind. Yeah. <laughs> For a book? Wait, so the it? equipment to rob a house is cheaper than the equipment required to write a... This is capitalism well, no, at it's, its finest. It's always cheaper to steal something. Mm, okay. oh, is there other stuff? Thank God, okay. <laughs> oh, no. You signed the devil's contract. <laughs> DM oh, let's go. Because I can read it out five times and I'm pretty sure it's still going to be a bit too long. All right. Well, I'm just buying a book and writing utensils so I can start. <sighs> Wait, I'm should terrified. I, should I write it in the Roll20 chat? Okay, I'll uh, I'll remove the rope since I have over a, like, uh, no, not over, just 100 feet of it. Mm. What? Fun. What peasant railgun are you creating with these? <laughs> Find <laughs> out, motherfucker. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of good things that were made in ancient Greece, one of them being the first makeshift flamethrower, which is two words that should never go together. <sighs> um, um, I think Jan's going to start making a list of people, uh, people he trusts and people he doesn't. Uh, which I am going to keep hidden from every member of the party. <laughs> Just because... Alrighty. I'm just going to oh, yeah, double check all of them while everyone else does their shopping. <sighs> <laughs> shopping. We really just had a bot in the Twitch chat. <laughs> Um, huh, let me think. I don't know. <coughs> oh, uh, sorry. Jan likes to write and Jan likes magic items. Both of his deeds have been fulfilled, so I guess now it's time for questing Do they sell for a Jan. The innocent? I think Manasef would like a few of them. 10% <laughs> off souls of the innocent. <laughs> Wait, uh, they did sell some holy water, which if you're gonna fight undead, that might be useful. Actually, yeah. Uh, how much was gonna... the, un the unholy water? The holy water. <laughs> holy water. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, once you touch it, maybe. <laughs> Wait, if I cast Toll the Dead on it, would it make it unholy water? Slightly less holy water. <laughs> how much is the holy water? Oh, 
22. I mean, it is blessed. <laughs> I mean, I don't even use conventional weapons, so I don't know why I'm even thinking about that. I don't get close enough. <laughs> Oh. That's why they've got priests for them, it's fine. They do a fray. <laughs> um, I... Weren't we gonna go drinking? Wasn't that a plan last session? Are we gonna continue that? Oh, hell yeah. I don't think yeah. Skylar would've drank before. And I don't know if Skylar would want to. Well, then, this will be the first time. <laughs> you don't get a choice. <laughs> Jan's just gonna... I think Jan will be the sober overseer, because he can't drive them home, because this is Dungeons and Dragons. But... I mean, Jan, there's a carriage. Jan, Jan will make sure nobody dies. I mean, you can try, but... I just saw a name of someone in chat and it made me gasp. <laughs> what? Why are some people like this? Hmm? Oh, don't worry, I deleted the comment and then timed the wall. <laughs> yeah, they were trying to I am morbidly curious given that none Yeah, same, yeah. what did they say? <laughs> they were trying to get us to buy followers. I see. <laughs> Aww. Oh, yeah. They think we make enough money. <laughs> Hmm. Rusty Hog is a bit of a a red flag name because rusts and pigs plus food I'm gonna eat. But you know what? Uh Jan's here for a good life, not a long one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. Jan Jan just is uh is I'm gonna wait outside. Uh you guys can go in. Uh, if anything happens, or if I hear bells ringing, uh, I'll come inside. Uh, I'll keep watch. Why aren't you coming with us again? Uh, not in the mood. No, so mood. Gonna step Are you in. going to a brothel? <laughs> nope, I'm just gonna stand here. <laughs> Maybe right. You look for like a, a clueless baboon. I'll get inside and at least get some water. Okay. Pretty please. <laughs> and like, uh, Hector's gonna give those like pleading puppy eyes, but it just looks like a <laughs> really demented lizard. Hector's, yeah. er, <laughs> Hector's position on the trust list has updated. <laughs> <laughs> Jan will remember that. Jan will remember that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sure, I'll come inside and I'll sit at the bar. Or uh, actually, right, what does the bar look like before I sit down? I'm just gonna find some quiet seat <laughs> and nestle away with a book. I, I, bars aren't really well th when he's when he's in work mode, they're his thing. But, but like with these guys, <laughs> he'll take his distance where he can get it. <laughs> really open source relationship between you and the party, I see. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm openly <Wanna> afraid. <laughs> you know, I can value that much. Uh, Hector's gonna try to order some... Actually, what what is there to order, anyways? Full short giant. Biggie small. My name's Hector. And, uh, I'm new to this place. I was wondering if you could uh, tell me about some of your fine drinks. Try my hand at the shellfish. How much is it? Alright, and the uh, Hectorish is going to place the gold piece down. Keep the change, I won't need it. Uh, any of you? Oh, yeah. <coughs> So Hector's gonna look to the others. Not exactly sure where they are. So, uh, are people going to order something or? Do they have gin? Pretty sure. Ah, uh, I see. Then, hmm, how much for a couple bottles of cider? <laughs> but actually, no, scratch that whiskey. Whiskey has two uses as a drink and flammable. This is the first oh, time you have seen someone. <laughs> <laughs> Jan is genuinely shocked at the uh, interactions that they're having because they're so actually like regular. <laughs> that it's, that it's... Fudge muffin. All right. Uh, I'll take four bottles. I'm not gonna use that much flammable stuff that fast. Actually, kind of doubt it. I speak common, abyssal, and draconic. <laughs> hmm. Hector, by any chance, do you, can you read this? Uh, realizes that he hasn't written language proficiencies for some ungodly reason. Uh, no. No. I mean, looks fancy. What did you buy this from that? Mm, yes, indeed. This will either serve as a decent flammable liquid or to raise up morale. What are you, what are you even planning to use with those ingredients of yours? Uh, I have certain plans for booby traps, explosives, and or I will just make it up as I go on the spot. It's more or less being prepared for the moment. Dumb. You don't mind, mind me asking, but where did you come up with such ideas before? I mean, I don't, I don't think I've ever met a man in my years in military service that was us. Creative with their ways of murdering someone. Well, not every fan creates necessarily to murder. You might see that I'm a bit more proficient with 
I guess, maiming traps, given in a previous profession I was, meant to arm a certain type of hunting party, I guess you suppose, would prefer their prey alive. Still look a trap, essentially. In a sense, more of a maintenance man, in well, my entirety, in the job best title, I was a maintenance boy. So, uh, I mean, you move along, join this band of freaks. Uh, let's just say my group fell apart. Ah, understood then. Oh, actors. Oh, my bad. I'm gonna head up to Labargo. Um, do you have any hot chocolate or anything like that? Marshmallow cupcakes, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. I'll give him a gold piece for some hot chocolate. I don't even know how much it is, but it's going to be a gold piece. Actually, now that I think about it, whiskey and hot chocolate could be an amazing mix. <laughs> I gotta try that to my boss. Why? I know what I'm gonna do on Christmas, boys. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't planning to. <laughs> I got, I got my one glass, and I'll just hand him a gold. And if he tries to say it costs less than that, I'm just gonna insist on giving him the gold. <laughs> Probably not, but you know. I <sighs> only got four bottles of this. Nasali's gonna drink a bottle, he's not just gonna burn it all. He just likes having multiple bottles. Yeah, here we go, that's the spirit. So you have the not drunken really, inventor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> so you can get drunk! <laughs> yep. You just see Nasali like. You see that solid just fucking chug a bottle? That stings a bit. <laughs> Jan's enjoying this. <laughs> yeah. Is Jan oh, finally realizing we all psychopaths for once? Oh, nah, no, let's not get hasty. <laughs> <laughs> but Jan is certainly warming up to the idea of a regular night of drinking. Um, yeah. Screw it. Yon will go for a drink. <laughs> we'll see. How yeah. that goes. Nasali's just that's gonna not, share his not, bottles uh, now that he kind of disappointedly leaned over mm -hmm. and learned that he can't get drunk. Oh, Hector is gonna take a few swings. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll slam one down with the boys. I, <laughs> I know I'm a I'm a pretty party boy for some reason. That's just surprising. Let's see who goes in the coma first. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I, I, I'll slam. Uh, one of Nasali's bottles. He said he was sharing them. Yep. All right, Hector. 
It just... Uh-oh. I'm tempted to use my bardic inspiration to help them. <laughs> I just had the biggest realization ever. Nasali can out-drink anyone on the competition. Yeah. <sighs> You I asleep. think we can just run a snake oil scam here. <laughs> a <laughs> literal <laughs> snake oil. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize what I just said before way. I remembered the Sully's race. Uh, uh, I mean, Yon wanted to make, <laughs> make money in the clean way. <laughs> this is the best we can do. <sighs> At this point, <laughs> I'll, I'll take I'll take this as opposed. Um, hmm. I I think after one drink though, Jan Jan's a pretty responsible guy. He's run up he's run a tavern for long enough that uh he understands the implications of drinking past two or three. So he'll just he'll sit down and just watch whatever snake oil scam's about to happen. He's not he's not confrontational enough tonight. Athanasius, you're gonna drink? Athanasius is gone. He said his data ran out. Oh. Athanasius passed out after whiffing the wine. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> when you first started speaking, I thought you were gonna stop at some of you wake up. Uh oh. Well, I reckon we, now that we've had our day of fun, we should probably get to the job at hand. What was our job again? So, remember that big door that we all stabbed our own arms into, and it didn't open? Well, most of you stabbed your arms into. I, I was a smart man, and I didn't mm -hmm. put it. Actually, so only Paul got stabbed in arm, if I remember correctly. Well, I stabbed mm -hmm. his arm. We found that, that note true. about the Eye of Derevos, and that thing about the arm symbol, and it said it was in Macarius, so... We need to go to the... We need to put it in Macaron, the capital of Macarios. That's what the map is. have to. Wait, hold on. I can't find Macarius because none of the names are loading on the map, but... Why yeah, are all we in the place? Can we go to the void? Macarios is in the bottom right. Oh, bottom right, okay. Ah, there you go. That's, uh, and where, where are we in comparison? <laughs> ah! You're going on a trip, trip. and that magic rock get you. <laughs> He's ready to skip seven months in-game time to get over there. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be making bombs, I don't know what you're on about. Wait, actually, if this is a traditional map in the sense of a map, can't we just theoretically go to the other end of the map? Like, it shouldn't be that far. <laughs> isn't it gonna take us more time? This isn't a whole... Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, like, take, going uh, around the entire world is gonna take us. Never like, mind, then. Years. <laughs> uh, we should probably prepare for a big trip, then, right? I'm pretty sure the ship Rewan was already equipped with food and supplies, so I don't know. Oh. Alright, well, uh, hmm. This is gonna be a long trip of seaside encounters. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, we could I don't just like stay it. locked up. True, true, true. But we I also mean, what, have to what, help. On what can possibly happen? Krakens. 
Hector, for a small idea, I will have to ask about how much could you potentially throw and how far? <laughs> well, that would depend on the object at hand, its weight, and how my arms are feeling. But I can give it a good 20 feet, maybe a bit more than that. Alright, uh, nice, nice. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up Donkey Kong, but a reptile. Effectively, yeah. Three, Three days? days? That's it. Is scaled down. That's really oh, fast for a ship, what actually. What the hell? This is not a Corvette. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, I suppose we've got sailing to do. Uh, before we... Mm, all right. Can we just buy crew members? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, before we uh, head out and probably during the trip, uh, Jan, uh, the rope we found, the magic rope, uh, Jan's probably studying that a lot. The bond like taking as many notes as he can on it. <laughs> For what reason? Like, I'm not yeah. very good at describing note taking. I guess like taking individual threads and like testing them. Just slowly breaking the roll. Oh my god. Learn a bunch of knots. Oh my god, I. Hector. Is there anything we would commonly know about Vasilis? Uh, yes, the fall of spell casting. I don't think I can manage that just yet. <laughs> I'd hope not. That's a tenth level spell. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll think of something. Wait, DM, on the three days that we were sailing, would Nasali have time to craft something? Alright, nice, nice. Uh, let's see. Asali, things, painters, think, think. Good boy. Good boy. Well, I was, I was have, I'm having an entirely different blueprint, which I would like to introduce to you, DM. <laughs> oh, <God>. So. <laughs> All right, fine. Also, during the three-day trip, I'm just going to be sitting in a corner trying to teach myself how to read tarot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jan would probably help Skylar with that in his spare time. He's, mm -hmm. I don't know, he's mostly devoted towards figuring out how to hide this rope on his person, uh, which he has decided wrapping it around the chest 
is pretty effective. <laughs> Just learn Shibari. Do any of you know what that is? Fuck is Shibari. <laughs> 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 it's a type of bondage. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't want to be the bondage boy. Skylar, get <laughs> out! I, I, all right. Well, yes, I'm essentially doing that. And I, I guess. Here. Why am I the only one that knew that? I mean, I. <laughs> <laughs> Skylar, I'm not gonna answer that comment because I don't want to get flagged down by Twitch. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I've I, okay, fine. I've bondaged myself <laughs> with magic rope. That way, I can cast it more readily than having to take it out of a bag. There. <laughs> Thank you. I swear every session just gets more and more cursed. <laughs> Our campaigns are cursed. Hey, we haven't please. created we haven't created too much chaos yet. But we are getting into a capital city where magic is a no no and Skylar is here. I'm here. I could cast literally anything. You connect You're the definition it. of what they hate, so... Yeah. Um, so uh, are, they, are they following us? Or are, they... are there any clerics? <laughs> um, That's a good question. Uh, it's it's. Am I not somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> it's capped. <laughs> it's guys. It's Thea, right? It's gotta be. It's it's. Oh uh, no, Thea's the first mate. No, first mate, my guy. Uh, so. Ilva. No, no, no. no. I'm going through every single member of the. I think it is Thea. I don't. I don't. Oh, yeah, because the ship's alive. I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> I, sl I slapped myself in the face. Define uh, danger artifact, and then I look at Yon. <laughs> <laughs> Are you implying Yon is dead and therefore an object? <laughs> no, I'm just implying what? you can explode in magic at any second. Uh, gentlemen, I have an idea, right? And uh... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Wait, wait, wait! What are you doing? Hold on, hold on! Wait, wait! Are you gonna cast this on the ship? I'm not casting. I'm saying I have an idea. <laughs> oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> um, so I, all of my artifacts are, as I've spent the last several days doing, hidden on my person, <laughs> which, <laughs> or yeah, uh, I've shabarred. Do I what?
We I'm gonna, it, yeah, I'm gonna ask what they consider dangerous artifacts, and then what can I take out as like a, huh? What am I willing to give up if I think, uh, okay, then no, we don't have any dangerous artifacts. You see Nacelle, like, starting to unload his bag, just putting torches, some rags, bags, maps, shovels, burlap sacks, candles, bed sheets, scrap lumber, ducks of card, banner, bag of one hand, <laughs> 10 feet of string, a bell, 5 candles, a crowbar, a hammer, 10 pittons, hooded lantern, flasks of oil, bag of caltrips, scavenger stools, and dwarven whiskey. <laughs> Jan just takes out the magic torch, I guess, because it doesn't burn things. <laughs> it's just a torch. Yeah. Ah, uh, I was hoping that maybe stealth would <laughs> just be free, but I am wrong. Oh. Haha, twenty. <laughs> they just assume you're happy to see them. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. We have two ones. We have the magic missile and the secrets. Who has the secrets? You. Do I? I'm pretty sure, because no one else took it. Okay. I'll Unless it was it. Yon. Unless he has, like, these two sticks somewhere. Huh. I've marked it down as, as it was in the loop, but I didn't mark down who took it. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess I can just blanket statement and say I have it. On my person somewhere. <laughs> um, I mean, Yon is the magic item boy, so I say. We did get rid of the cursed longsword, correct? <laughs> yeah, we stole that. It's fine. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I was worried. Sorry, ship. <laughs> don't worry, it doesn't bite. At least I don't think. <sighs> I, I kind of look at the ship in fear because I'm like, that thing can drown me, like, whenever. <laughs> I can't. Wait. <laughs> Question about the ship, right? Is it like... Is it a creature? Fully animate, where like, you could essentially use a part, like, of the ship as a body. So like, open a, like, it's a mouth mid-floor and just eat them. I cast a message on the ship and say, don't worry, we'll be back as soon as we can, so we can leave. And you won't have to be tied down anymore. Um... Message can be replied to. Yeah, no, message can be replied to. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Yeah, can reply yeah. in a whisper that only you can hear. Well, none of us can hear that. <laughs> um, all right. I mean, technically, uh, it's always bound since the seals need to be tied down to something. I'll turn to. Wait. <laughs> no, that's like tying your arm to your leg. They're technically bound. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Again, back to Shibari. All <laughs> yes. right, back to back to the game and no more Pope Kings. Um, Shibari. I turn to Daya and say, "Did you know that this ship speaks like an ancient elf?" Daya, is that her name? Oh, okay. I just cast a message and uh, I didn't realize it was like an ancient elf. That's really cool. Ah. Okay. The map showed it being centered on this city. But I'm not sure if it's said anywhere specific within the city. Um, can I turn to like the captain guy that flagged our ship? Um, I'll say. Um, do you know what the Eye of Dravan? My mouth stopped working. <laughs> wait, wait, what happened? I just got... Um, do you know what the Eye of Daravos is? So you won't know whereabouts it would be. Okay, will do. <laughs> okay, so magic not like magic Why do bad. You Gaston. <laughs> oh, he does. Yeah. Vlad Vol. I mean, I can give it a go. Plague, it's fine, just drink alcohol, I... and you will sound like any Eastern European. Plague, do you wanna go, or should I try? Let's throw all the dice, <sighs> odds or evens. Alright, I'll, I'll take evens. I'll take odds. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh god, so I'm supposed to sound like Eastern European? You're just trying to say the name. Captain Damaso, or is it... Or is he the the art. Art. <laughs> Oh, Vlad, what, what you, what don't, what don't you call? What Jesus Before we offend someone, <laughs> uh, they'll be fine. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they're not Russians watching. This. I mean, I think, I don't know. All right, so we need to establish the fact of the difficulty of this situation. We now know that the Eye of Derevos is a supposed future-telling or fate-telling object of magic item. Magic items, mind you, that this entire country hates. We're in the capital of the country of hating magic items, and we're supposed to find the magic item that nobody likes. 
I think this smells of rich people. What question? What? I'm not sure if any of our characters know this, but like, what happens to confiscated magical items if there are any? Are they like destroyed, or are they just like safely put in a nice little vault? Given to the royal family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a, uh, who is sm uh, stonks and intelligente? Cause yeah. I ain't. Hard to face it, maybe. I'm pretty well. History uh, might don't not have be so. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. oh, damn. <laughs> That's twenty. Somewhere in the same. So instead of murder, we have to break into a bank vault. We can still well, murder people. It's not a people. bank vault per se. We, we technically don't know the location of it. It could be up with the royals, as he said before. That is my current and most like either royals or the church. I'm telling you, it's always it's always Jesus or rich people. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, Sorry. then. That was a, that was a joke. <laughs> you speak of. For legal reasons, I must say that that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no. Please don't shoot me, Twitch. <laughs> what religion is most, like, the, what is the most commonly followed religion in this country? The only thing this world is missing is the equivalent of British colonizers that go everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> just describe the entire sure people party. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Unending hammer, which is chaotic good, chaotic neutral, and chaotic evil. Huh. <laughs> He's very chaotic. I, I, I pale to know what his churches look like, but are there any of those nearby? So, I... Dude, a sermon is just a rave. I, I was gonna say, it's just a mob. Huh. <sighs> Well, I'm gonna say they do kind of look like people who'd have magic items. We should so probably what? find someone that would be knowledgeable of the black market when it comes to magic items. Mm. Not the spot at the moment. Is anyone here We're experienced all... in researching black markets? We don't have a rogue, do we? No, no, we're like wa we're walking and talking. I mean, if anyone, the captain should know about black markets, right? Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically, if one were, <laughs> if he's if he is a good law enforcement member, if, he should know. If you tell Skylar to ask him that, Skylar will. <laughs> God, I don't want to get oh. Skylar arrested. <laughs> but do you? <laughs> Me, yes, yeah. Natalia, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, we could always try and ask them nicely. When has that worked? I think CD Tavern, I, I don't know, uh, from all the books I've read, C CD Tavern seems like the place to start. What, what are we gonna get in the tavern? Well, Ass assumedly, a, s a CD person. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, normally city! Not CD. CD. Yeah, yeah, CD. Oh, oh. What would somebody else? Someone with a lot of contacts, oh, Blake. There you Alright, there we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a suspicious person. We're looking for a suspicious person. <laughs> Aren't we that right now?
That is very true. Suspicious but... Try hard, no? Don't you? Yeah, I think we naturally attract suspicious people. <laughs> we naturally are suspicious accidentally. <laughs> uh, we look like we're gonna mug someone in night. But, anyways. <laughs> Try and find a suspicious looking person in a tavern. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess that's plan A. I mean, unless you want to go to a dark alleyway and just like scream. Can someone mug me? <laughs> Does anyone know Shibari? <laughs> oh, God, please stop. Please stop. What's up, Bob? Skylar, I, I will smite you. Off to horny jail with you. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop. I really yes. do. You need to get help! <laughs> stop it! Get some help! I was gonna say those two things don't need to be exclusive. <laughs> so where are we going to find shady people? Let's just like... The captain's headquarters. No. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe later. But no. Let's think. Let's think about this rationally. As if this was our actual job in real life. Did you really just ask our pie to think rationally? Are you... Yon, I know Yon <laughs> in character doesn't drink, but have you drank something? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm clean. It's, it's like, it's just after lunch. Like, it's... I'm not um, drunk yet? What wow, doing? what the hell? <laughs> you reckon if I throw the spell into ya, yeah, that would attract shady people's attention? No, I think that, that would attract probably... more than shady people's attention. Yeah, it would probably attract the guards trying to figure out what's going on. Hmm. How many of us have like any sort of criminal hmm. records? Who said guards can't be shady? <laughs> I mean... I don't think I have a criminal record. <laughs> you don't know how corrupt this government is. <laughs> how about no. I try to use my only heritage, no, heritage, uh, my connection, and just go up to a priest and question him? Uh, uh, I think we should leave priests near the end. I'm not a big fan of them. <laughs> you can... Religions um, can sometimes backfire, given their intentions. Huh. Religion is never bad, says worshipping a chained god accidentally. Says worshipping a blazing king. The Sally just glares at Skylar, he says that. I don't actually say that in character. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh. Look, either way, we're n we may look shady, but we're we don't look shady in the right way. True, true. Is there a wrong way to be shady? Yes, foreigners in a country that doesn't like magic that all happen to look very magical. Just don't explode on us, okay? <laughs> no, look, no promises. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> Alright, can, can we look for like a, like, not a poorer, but like a, a darker, like, is there like a red district? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. a red district. Like, yeah. Not physically red in the blood of the innocent. <laughs> well, I'm just well, saying, the easiest way to, to find party. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, we are going places. I mean, the only suspicious.
<sighs> Slim Shady? Who wants to get the mug for? <laughs> Did you just say? <laughs> Do we want to go just fun. one of us? Like, I think <laughs> scouting probably is a more effective method if just one of us goes in. I, just I think all of us together might be a bad plan. I hear one. Well, of usually, people. a group of people entering a shady place means they're connected. One of us enters, uh, they're not coming back. Well, Hector says that now, so is like patting you on the back. Okay, so remember, if someone bumps into you, check your purse. Right, so as Nasali pets Hector in the back, uh, Not Hector's Hector, gonna pick Jan. him. Oh, Yon. Yeah, well, oh. you're saying that Nasali's preparing Yon to go in. Oh, wait, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay, I... I'm so stealth. I guess I do look the most like a normal person. Shouldn't we just all go in? You sure you don't want me to come with me, so no one picks on you? I don't know, would it... Would a pair be any more suspicious? I guess not, it would. Not really. I don't know. I am big, pairs. you're smart. I mean, match the dots. I can make anyone who goes in have a halo, and then I just cast dancing lights and makes it spin around someone to look like a halo. We're not trying to look like Mormons, though, are we? We're, tr we're <laughs> trying to look not suspicious. <laughs> or at least we're trying to look suspicious in the right way. Right, let's just get going. And Hector's gonna right. right. make his way I'll... through. Yeah, Hector, I'll go with Hector. That's all he's gonna do. If, like, if we scream. <laughs> God damn it, what? We spent five minutes discussing we should go, we should all go in. Yeah. Well, might as well. Is it, is, can I arcane check to see if she's using a magic item to see? No, I'm just gonna do like an arcana check. When, when you say I don't know, because. <laughs> in her hand, is that something like spherically shaped? Is she holding the Eye of Dravana? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, out of character, I know it's not the Eye of Dravana. <laughs> no, it's either the Eye of Dravana or, or her seeing aid, and we're only gonna find out after we steal it. <laughs> Look, we don't need to steal her. We, we don't can have to. It. We can literally ask her. She's like 15 feet away. If she has an artifact, she's not gonna <laughs> say it in a nation where it's illegal, okay? We're having this conversation very loudly, 15 feet away. I don't. I don't think this is in character. I don't think this. Is... This is in character. I'm making it in character. <laughs> and that's solid, isn't it? I wave and smile. <laughs> I'll wave like awkwardly <laughs> and then I'll and then I'll like I don't know stand. I'm just gonna there? push on forward. Come on. Okay, well, I guess I'm social man. Mm. Uh so I'm gonna go up to the elven woman and just say Uh hello. Uh, is there any way we could get a seat for four, four? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and I'll wave everyone over as I walk to my seat, I want to try and get a look at the other three people without really, like, knowing that I'm looking at them. Like, I guess stealthily? <laughs> people watching? Yeah, sure. 
Oh, that's pretty good. All right, well. <laughs> He's wearing leather, you say. <laughs> does he look like a... Like, does he look religious in any way? Or is he just, like, got the hardened battle look? Let's see, now that's not a no. Which may... <laughs> okay. In our party, that's. The ranger? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's like, okay. He's a hunter. <laughs> oh boy. So, with that knowledge, uh, I'm going to probably mark him. Well, I'm not going to mark him off, but I'm going to, like, highlight him in my imaginary mind list. Are they all sitting together or separately? I can't. So, I suppose, at, like, as we sit down, I'm, I'm gonna try and, out of character, I'm, like, not whispering, but, like, I'm talking low, but my mic is not gonna pick that up. Uh, so, I guess we just go up and ask one of them? I could. Oh, what are you going to ask them? I could cast message, and the other ones wouldn't know. Uh, that would I be see. very creepy. Would it? <laughs> 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 we just created a distract. No. <laughs> I can try and do it sneakily. Just stares at someone, points at them, whispers something, and nobody else hears it. Um. <laughs> is there? Let's see. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what's what's like... the least conspicuous way we can say? Do you know where magic items are kept? Um, I guess we can ask about the black market, which will lead to magic items. Well, perhaps. Not using my criminal mind, you could just say you're performing a heist and you're gathering a crew, and you're possibly going to want to buy a stash of magical goods. So, if you talk to the wrong people, you're setting yourself up. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. If you we, talk we to have the right to... people, well, then you're going to serve a job. I mean, it's a 50 50. We don't know. I don't like 50 50. I don't like 50 50 either. Um, All right, well, hmm. then you could be 50 50, brothers. We could <sighs> ask the waitress. Like, she probably knows. Like, where did you get your magic item? Yeah. 
that's probably a pretty safe bet. I like All that right. plan, Skylar. Well then, Skylar. Good idea. Thank you. I don't have one. What that I do? <laughs> um, well, what, uh, first of all, what do you have to eat? Um, hmm. I understand that. Uh, well, I'd love some vegetable soup. Would anyone else like anything? Do you do hot chocolate? Just have a glass of water then. Do you have any lavender water? <laughs> any what? Wait, lavender what? water. <laughs> hmm. I'll take that as a no. Well, also another question, uh, love the eye, uh, where, uh, I have a friend, or, oh, sorry, uh, I have a friend who, uh, is also partially blind, do you know where one could get an eye like that? Oh, I meant I meant in the sense of I have a friend that's blind. Uh, where did you get your eye thing? Is is the, uh, is that her response or come with the cars? <laughs> it came. With... Why did you get it? Did it come with the cars? Yeah. Okay. Oh, two and well, one bundle. Uh, which wasn't that mean then, because she could have just left you blind. Castelli's just gonna look to Skylar like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a point. <laughs> she Jan like... realizes maybe Skylar should be should be limited in his access <laughs> to the uh, <laughs> in his access to the interrogation. Skylar, your socialites have been revoked. <laughs> I just sit in a corner drinking my water, looking really sad. I'll try and eat the vegetable soup. I mean, I don't... Uh, fun fact for everyone else, Jan can't really taste. <laughs> but he, Why? I guess texture works. And uh, you're the one who complained the most about like eating the harpies and you can't even it's taste the texture it's the texture it just close your eyes it's like one of those romantic restaurants but with like a slight twist <laughs> there is a twist yeah mm. delicious and delicious <sighs> yeah so Jan's gonna slurp away at the liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't phrase it like that. <laughs> it tastes like high potion. <laughs> bad. Bad. As soon as I said that, I knew I was gonna. Somebody was gonna say it as you. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't. I would like. We to need to. I realized after I said Shibari like the second time. Skylar has chain tattoos. 
And then move around to be seen. I don't know. <laughs> Say it, you coward. What? <laughs> Say it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's... So anyways... <laughs> uh, do we ask the ranger? This is all quiet, by the way. I'm not trying to say this to the ranger. But like, is... The, the dwarf in the corner over there, is that... You think he might know anything? Mm, no, Sal just wandered off to find the, like, tavern keep slash waitress. And he's gonna ask, would you know any possible adventurers who are willing to dabble with quests surrounding magic items? Thank you. Yeah, guys, I don't think we're gonna get a lot out of this. At Quick least health-wise. Question. For the purposes of a spell, would water be an object? <laughs> While I'm in the con, I'm just gonna put my finger in my water and cast light, and then my eyes light up as it works. <laughs> <laughs> put my finger in the water and cast light on the water and then my eyes will, like light up like an innocent child as it works because you said an object so now I have bright water <laughs> is, that, is your water okay Skylar? we need to get our bard exercise <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Well, you're not from here if you couldn't tell. <laughs> We're looking for an eye. And also a symbol with arms and knives. Damn, you guys are descriptive. <laughs> the it's called the Eye of Daravos. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, none of you guys stop me. <laughs> That's all he wouldn't. Can you take us to her then? Oh, in that case, thank you kindly for your time. Then, meal or oh, problem solved? <laughs> We're off to see the sea her. <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful sea her of fates. You... <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to kidnap someone's what I'm hearing, right? No. <laughs> what? 
Kidnap has been so <laughs> Well, how else are we gonna willingly get the seer with us? Talk to them. We don't need to bring the seer. I thought it just said seek the eye of Daravos on the note. Yeah. I, well, I mean, I unless have... they give us a key, I don't know what you're gonna do with the door. We'll bring him if we have to. We'll just friendly have a conversation. I'm gonna just slap him over the head and just bring him to an unknown island and keep him there. I, I hope you don't. <laughs> I, I, I hope you don't. Like I could. You're a creative man, I'm sure you'd come up with something. I'm not building a construct anytime soon. Well, I, well, I definitely love in head quotations the the kidnapping talk. We should probably keep that down when headed towards said person that you are talking about kidnapping, well, which not we're not doing. It's we're not. Oh well, no! I won't, no crap! We're not going to kidnap someone. I hope. Otherwise, I wouldn't mention to you. <laughs> um. I've just realized something. The yes. spell light sheds bright light in a 20 foot radius. I've drank all of the water. If I open my mouth, I am a beacon. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> oh god. Technically. <laughs> um, yeah, what the fuck? What? Big, big brain confused. Uh. I made the water. Have 20 foot bright light, so if I open my mouth, there's bright light coming out of my mouth from my stomach. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, that's not... Let him have his fun beacon. <laughs> uh, oh. Physics do not matter, bard. <laughs> Hell yeah. During that two days, I guess we're just trying to avoid magic talk in general, but like, other than that, we're not really doing a whole lot. So, wait, DM, did you... Did you manage to look for the blueprint I sent you? Uh, understandable. We are at about the half. Why? I really would like to finish eating food. Wait, actually, what does the the edge of the forest look like before we? Oh yeah, for it. Like that. Uh. <laughs> I assume Drachma spelled like the Greek currency, right? Yeah, Drachma. Right. <laughs> I did it with a can. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Lady Drachma, Fiodrin captain, might be an asshole. That's my current notes.
Right, so we're away from people, right? Alright, uh... Okay, cool. Uh... I just, uh, been holding in magic for a while. <laughs> felt the need to... Felt the need to cat like, wild magic rolls just cause... Yon's not a very... on yourself and cause the entire forest to burn down. <laughs> that is the nature of the beast. <laughs> Yogg-Saron decides my fate. Um, did we continue through into the forest and just see if we can find the seer? Uh-oh. Wait, everybody or just Skylar? Not me. So survive. Hmm. Not me. <laughs> Should I roll? Yeah. Right, let me check. Anyone that has a positive has a better than me chance. <laughs> I have a zero. <laughs> That's still I a actually... All right, I am nature man. I have a plus two in survival. I guess. I okay, can... never mind. You're a nature man. I'm alive. Have... <laughs> I can help one of you. Alright. I'll help you. All right. And so I do. <laughs> Ironically, I'm good at survival, which, knowing Jan, survive is not <laughs> not in his wheelhouse. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Hey. Remember when the bartender lady said that there was a witch that cast her not to see anything? And now that we know that the Eye of Derevos is a person, maybe this is a, just secretly a witch with an eye fetish. I just walk up and knock on the front door. Oh! Oh, okay! Cool! She saw you just dive to a brain. I guess. I'll just walk in here. Biddies. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait. Scarlet be uh, evil. Scarlet's confirmed evil character right now. That was not who I was expecting to be in the middle God of the woods. God damn! Like... <laughs> Same! I was expecting a hag, not this! I didn't even drive off I mean... the map. Oh, you know of us? Nasali oh. kind of like leans into Hector, kind of staying behind, letting either Jan or Skylar walk in front. Do you think she knows that you talked about kidnapping her? And if he has, do you think she should be going? <laughs> oh, hey, that was you, you only, I say as I walk in. <laughs> I mean, no, I pointed out the possibility of it being needed. I'm gonna walk up to her and say, Um, well, seeing as you already know our names, I'm assuming you know why we're here. Thank you. I did not hear any of them questions, I'm not gonna lie. I said, what is evil, what is divine, what is fate? Uh, all three of those have kicked my ass uh, many a times over, so... Um, is it just me, or that is like, each of the party members? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Sally would say, bye, 
at least where I am from, evil is considered something that destroys, divine is something that, well, creates, and fate is merely time. Who does she give the amulet to? Ewing? Probably. <laughs> the scar is just in a corner. And it's the epitome of the meme. Head empty. Drink tea. <laughs> Jan is very intent. Like, yeah, like clearly Jan's fallen under the mono. He's very into it. Is there like a pamphlet for this uh for this divine being? Cause uh I'd like to I'd like some some fate knowledge, I'm not gonna lie. Jan's going outside. <laughs> oh, there were a lot of keywords in there that Jan was like, all right, I get it. Things happen because they're supposed to. But he's not saying that out loud to Prophecy Lady. But he's a little frustrated. <laughs> See, this justifies us being assholes. It's supposed no. to happen. <laughs> Isla's drinking. All for the greater good. A light bulb moment happens, and then Skylar walks up to her and goes, Can you teach me how to use tarot cards?
Thank you. I don't want to defy fate. <laughs> I did not say that out loud. This is this is angry Jan monologue internally. <laughs> Everything she said was basically fate happens because fate happens, and what isn't fate can't happen because it's not fate. Also, a lot of things about strife, shining blades, and red eyes, just keywords. Uh, so, and... we're essentially slaves, is what I understood. No, I don't know. Hey, have you ever met anyone you that can bend the time? You understood it, Hector. We now have a justification to anything that we do because it was meant to happen. <laughs> I don't think that was the message. Can I bring the eyes back to the Geneva Convention? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fate also decided that certain things are illegal, so... <laughs> now Jan is gonna legally rename himself to fate, just so you can say no. <laughs> I have a uh, as we are as we're walking back to what I presume is the ship because we have this blood amulet now, which she didn't explain what it does, but I have a ninety-nine percent accurate guess. As uh, I've got a through the fence, oh, reaching the edge of the forest. Give me two people. Give me perception checks. Um, I'm very good at them, so. Um, I'm. Not so good. I will give you gonna you on, the I'll give you an advantage. I'm perceptions with them. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, where is my? Uh, oh, there it is. Alive. Okay. Hector, you and um, uh, managed to spot the glinting um, light of a um, upper light spear. And you get um, everyone ready for a fight. We see fate could have stopped me from. Fate's gonna come back. I don't know. You have any bullshit that fate is railroad? No, no. Fate is a justification for me to do whatever I want. Okay, give me a marching order. Nastal is gonna be third. Hector's gonna be at the front. I guess I'll be second. I guess I'm in the back. <laughs> I That's mean, do, do you wanna go first, Sean? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine doing whatever, you know? Jan's, <laughs> Jan's a new, Jan's a changed man. He used to be a backliner, but now he's trying out the front line. He's the front line uh, dick. So. Uh, what was that? So Jan is with Jan's you. still last. But... <laughs> yeah, uh, so Hector, Skylar, Nasali, and Jan. Uh, I'll put up an SQS up front. I think you guys want to do it. Just play. Yeah, oh, it's that like you don't know the answer. <laughs> You're not allowed to kill him. <laughs> Uh, but it's fate. <laughs> it's fate. Why the f Cause fate wills it, guys. God, you shouldn't. You should not oh. ever give me the justification for anything. I hope so you know that the rest of the campaign might gonna make jokes about that thing being fair. You, you At just... least for a while. Ah, uh, well. I mean, that is I remember a this line. familiar alley. Oh, these... Wait, is that a hold? Because there's several hoplites? There are three oh, hoplites. I, can't I don't know what a hoplite is, but... Greek soldier. Hoplites is... Oh. They're about as... Yeah, we're kind of fitting against professional soldiers. Oh, so they're like goon plus. <laughs> no, they're more like <laughs> Goon Plus Two. Uh, mercenaries. Uh, but yes, it's Goon Plus works. Well, not mercenaries. They are. Uh, you can even give me a give me a history check right off the bat. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not sure. How for a history just? Uh, no, just Hector. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Man, I do not recognize like them offend who these people are. Who's your cousin Carl? <laughs> <laughs> His cousin Carl, the I... human. Okay, roll initiative, people. But I don't right. want to roll initiative. I want to live. I mean, no one asks, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's fate. <pay. laughs> <laughs> Why, why, that's just my decision. Now, nah, Fade wills it that we're gonna yeah. kill these three hall plants once I'm Actually, oh. no, there's not. <sighs> Good soldiers don't deserve to die because of all the stupidity. I'm, I'm gonna do non-lethal damage. So, who's stupid? They are dying because of their stupidity. They're engaging us. Oh, I'm oh it's because they're war, I'm dude. Good. I'm good. Are they? Don't so, now that. you're gonna to blame Fade because yeah. of the. <laughs> <laughs> it's it? Fall God my damn it! In the <laughs> okay, uh, Athanasios goes first. Safe to assume he rages and runs at them. I don't know, it's probably kind of like on him. Are running towards hot plants is on this one thing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, he was never the smartest person, I guess. I don't think he's ever fought Hoplites, but the problem is he's gonna get two ex uh, attacks of opportunity against him. Oh, oh god damn it. yeah, the defensive positions. The joke is, I don't know what Hoplites do other than be soldiers. Yeah, neither Ooh, do I. Thank goodness he's raging. Uh, okay, that is... 7 and 10. They were going to deal 34 have. damage. <laughs> 30... Oh, no, Jesus. No, that was before it was halved. Alright, these hoplites aren't fucking around. Alright, I'm breaking out the seven levels. <laughs> or the second oh, level. Wait, I actually got that up. Uh, it's actually a lot less. Uh, I forgot the hoplite rules for a second. Uh... Okay, fool. So you won't die in one turn, like, <laughs> right, Jan? Okay. He, they only, he actually only took about nine. And he's it's going melting. to swing his great axe. Oh wait, no, that misses. <laughs> <sighs> Even in spirit, his rolls are bad. Don't call him out like that. Uh, okay, uh, three spears. Oh. Okay, uh, I don't like that. Miss. It was the one half life that just keeps slacking. Okay, so he takes six more damage. Okay, Skylar, your turn. I turn and look at the one that just attacked Athanasios and go, that's not very nice, and I cast a magic missile. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, that's not the normal one. <laughs> At what level? Yeah, I... Wait, that's illegal! <laughs> um... I just... It. It's from the feet, so I just go ahead and bit. Oh, so then it's three bolts. One. Oh, three. Ignore the last one, then. Okay. Uh, okay, so that is... Six. Eleven. Uh, and which one? And then... The one that... This one, because it just attacked Athanasios. Okay. Well, actually, how, all of them have stabbed Athanasios by... Um... How damaged does he look? Took a blow, not too bad. Um, as a bonus action, I'm gonna pass. Um, what was Mind Thrust. Where is that on my list? There it is. Mind Thrust. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, uh, which one? Right, give me a moment. The same one. Bit of an accident. Oh, God. All right. Okay, he fails. He takes the psychic damage. 
and on his next turn, he can only bash or disengage as an action. Okay, wow. Uh, that is pretty brutal, I'm not gonna lie. Rawr. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I was just on your nuzzle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nuzzle, nuzzle. Uh, do not do make me able to fight. I'm gonna prepare the bomb to blow myself up next to <laughs> Renatus. <laughs> okay, you Hector's turn. Uh, you take an attack of opportunity. Alright. Okay. Uh, you get hit for... 11. I sure to god, if I'm back in my old health... <laughs> How much health do you have? I genuinely am back at my old health again. Are you all right? <laughs> Rip. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to give this hoplite a lovely little whack. Or a love tap, if you will. Wow, it really is a love tap, because that's seven damage only. <laughs> wow. And... You mean that's a full seven damage? Oh, he is bloody. Oh crap, oh, after this. Okay then. That's the one that I've been attacking as well, so. It's. Had... Oh yeah, fair do actually. It's had 26 damage from me. Oh, I got a plan, don't worry. <laughs> At least we know oh, yeah. that 33 damage is bloodied. Is my math correct? Okay. Where? Yeah. This hoplite is going to circle around. And two attacks against Anosios, one attack against Hector. They made a mistake staying within yeah, five feet of each other. Uh, kill me just have to remind myself. With a lie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we would just maybe... You know what, he's gonna actually shield bash, um, you Hector. Give me a strength saving throw. Punk. Ooh, that definitely hit. That's a crit. Ooh. Oh. Against me or at the Nationals? You. Um, that's nine oh, damage oh, oh, and oh. give me a strength saving throw. Strength. One well, thing, thousand eight's a good answer. Um, right. Does a fifteen make it? You do make it. You're not that prone. Alright. Damn. Here. Thank goodness Athanasius can rage. Right, Hoplite's pretty fucking dangerous apparently. Oh, and guess uh, uh -huh. the next one's gonna um, go. I'm so sorry, Brady. <laughs> oh, it's alright, we wow. got no Brady's shadow tendencies. Two attacks from an 11 and a 9. Jesus. If Athanasios dies, it wasn't our fault, it was fair. Exactly. <laughs> Yon, your turn. Breathe, uh, that is. I love right. that. Uh, well, I need to check. Is. So, first of all, uh,. Miss Ali, can I borrow a ball bearing? Uh, yeah, sure. I have a thousand. How much you want? Uh, one. And I'm right. going to take that ball bearing, and I'm going to catapult uh, at the bloody one. Um, so it just kind of glows, and I chuck it really hard. Um, and it's going to take... It has to do a dex save. I don't... Hold on. 
me. So he takes the bulb bearing from the Sally. Goes, this bitch empty. Yeet. <laughs> 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 All right, wait, hold on. I think I can do that. Also, oh wait, also it's a spell, so I have to, you know. Uh. Oh, we're good. Um, yeah. Off the plant. So okay. yeah, they have Dex to do a DC. Yeah. Uh, is it every creature in the line? Uh, no, it just hits one creature, but I, I am planning on twin spelling it. How can you turn this one if you've only got one ball? Uh, you can't. It has to be a. S um, I believe it has to. If it is a single target spell, it would yeah, work. Yeah, yes, it would work. Okay, Dex says. How the flying did you fail that? You plus five on the light. Alright. 3d8, hold on. <laughs> Which one are you targeting? 3d8? Uh, the bloodied one. Okay. Oh, that's gonna eviscerate the bloody one. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you take and it. And then it's gonna like form a mirror image clone of itself and hit the one uh, next to it. This this guy. Okay. Uh, top or bottom guy? The top guy. Uh, we don't attack do bombs. God damn it. Pause it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me do it again. Uh, he saves. <laughs> you uh, have to Sally. We don't attack bombs. <laughs> but 13 damage on on this unsuspecting fool from a ball bearing. You know, when you joined, I was genuinely um, worried about corrupting you because you were younger than everyone else in the group. <laughs> oh, that's that. That's cute. Oh, that's, that's, cute. It. that's cute. You really think I wasn't the one that corrupted everyone else at school? Kinky question mark? Oh God, you're you're you were basically uh, meager. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, <laughs> Dex, you're turn. Uh, well, maybe up on the mild destruction isn't complete yet so i will i will i will will i will boom goes the cannon <laughs> kind of but i don't want to hit every exactly i'm gonna walk behind hector hide you honey bro. and uh yeah, we established that Athanasius is resistant to fire when raging, right? Yeah, he can choose it. He'll be fine. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. As the flamethrower can pop sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna fire in a way where it doesn't hit Hector. That does, like, go through most of them. Possibly okay. Athanasius. I don't know. I don't want to hit them, but I'll probably will. That's not hard. Okay. So that is three dex saving throws, right? Yep, yep, yep. Let's oh, see, you poor bastard. The one who had, uh, um, who had a total of three health left rolled a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> we bully oh, here. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm assuming you rolled that in the wrong Oh, chart. that's not a lot of damage. That's Athanasios' health, um, dex save. The public role is Athanasios. Oh, nice. He's fine. He's You're fine. <laughs> so he takes four damage. Oh, Athanasius is blooded. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this guy, huh, he's incinerated. And um, he's a writhing mess of pain, um, agony, and charred black armor. So I'm not taking that ball bearing damage, back. I believe. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, if they succeeded, they have damage. Cool. Athanasius' turn. Uh, I guess he's going to smack a guy. He's going to smack the guy to his um, right. His left, I mean. Oh. Uh. Blanking is not worth the attack of opportunity anymore. 
Uh-huh. Come on, roll it. <laughs> At least he had. Okay. Actually, pick me, Athanasius is flanking. No, he is not. He's not flanking the creature. Because yeah. The cannon it's counts as a construct, it. if I believe. Which is not a creature. Warforged is a construct. Yeah. Warforged are different. <laughs> no, Warforged are humanoid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're also a construct. <laughs> yeah, but they don't. Well, yes, they're a construct, but D&D doesn't like giving constructs to playable characters. Because, I, I'm sorry, I'm fucking, the cannon's just sitting there. It's not running interference. Skylar. Um, it's a flamethrower. It has a certain aura of intimidation that usually distracts people. I probably should have asked this last time, but is there a rule on casting multiple spells in one turn? Uh, yes, there is. You can cast a... Um, if you cast a spell um, that's a bonus action, the only thing you can cast otherwise is a um, cantrip. Whoops, I did two normal spells last turn. Whoops. Um, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna mind thrust this one. Um, <laughs> I rolled two sixes and a one. That's spicy. Okay. Ow. That's nice. I would have just counted mm -hmm. as you did Toll of the Dead as a guy didn't live to have its advantage. Um, and then that's a bonus action, though. Well, I'm All not right. gonna roll back that guy's ant health. Oh, I'm also gonna Toll the Dead him. And I'm gonna reload my roll 20 Fail. because something in the middle of the screen. Uh, which one is this? Last or left? That's top. Okay. Like I said, we don't attack bombs. <laughs> I will roast you. Do it? <laughs> but we don't attack okay. bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you exude that energy. Okay, Hector. Gee. I make well, I might not have mind thrust. I do have sword thrust. <laughs> That's fine, gentlemen here. I feel like my sword. Me. Crap, it's not even a sword, it's a great axe, so this is a bit awkward. Um, thrust like a sword. <laughs> no one can but, uh, yeah. Different. I'm going to uh, smite on that attack. So I uh, 17 damage in total. Okay, that kills him. Oh god, it's already dead. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, it got Hector? smited by the divine presence of God. I don't know what he expected. Uh, I'm gonna actually. Yeah, you know what? Hector is gonna move here. He's gonna put it there for some. Okay. Uh, I guess he's gonna attack Athanasios. Please don't die. <laughs> That is the only option. Okay, so that. Okay, Apanosius is down to single digits. He takes three spear wounds. Yawn. Alright, well, I should probably, uh, <laughs> go save my fellow boy. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, I just fell out of my chair. <laughs> Very aggressively. Uh, let me let me calculate this distance real quick. Hmm. Yeah, I can move there. I don't even need the shadow step. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move here. Oh, I'm not here. Here. And I will. Huh. What spell won't also kill Athanasius? <laughs> Attack the man savagely with a light slap. Oh, I could light slap. When you have your pin thing. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, well, you have my hand axe as well, so you could just. Yeah, I've got. Chunk. I have Shadow Blade, but it's a second level spell on, like, the last living one. Um, hmm. I'm going to. Probably. Let's go Booming Blade. And then, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it with the hand axe. So booming blade will only happen if hand axe hits. So uh, go hand axe. Hey, seventeen. Nice, nice hidden rolling there. Oh wait, was it hidden? Yeah. I was gonna say I couldn't see that. You cheeky wall. bastard. How did I? Oh, that misses. Sneaky boy. That misses. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Masabi, your turn. Alrighty. What about all lefty? No. <laughs> Left chart doesn't matter. Alright. You know, Nasali is gonna do something strangely humane. He's gonna walk up to him and he's gonna cast Suggestion, telling him to surrender. Okay, what's your which is wisdom DC? It, uh, 14. Which isn't actively harmful to it. It's actually quite she the opposite. A 16. Fucking, alright, never mind. Flamethrower. <laughs> Flame hey! <key. laughs> Wait a minute. Which direction are you going to fire it? Hmm, well, I was gonna move it like that. <laughs> but Jan moved there, so... I can cast shield and maybe live. That's a DC. Actually, it's I can do it like this and hit both of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so who no, do you I'm not like? Jan, Athanasios, or just both of them? Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna fire it upwards, since... Here's hoping Athanasios can tank it, and I do have pure wounds now. It's a code. So, uh... Not a line. It's a uh, yeah, but oh, it does. The first thing is one goes up, okay, spreads yeah. out, and then that. Well, that Actually, it would hit Hector like that. <laughs> Hector! I love you! Because it's, it's a cone, is that? Yeah, it spreads out every other turn by one. So it starts at one, it spreads out on another, spreads out another, spreads out another, until it would be like here on a 20. I don't think that's a. That is how it works. Yeah, that is a cone. <laughs> You're talking to the two DMs, Plague. And don't worry, I hate cones as well as a DM. Yeah. I don't know, I think Cone of Cold's pretty rad. Well, I hate their, the way they work. Okay, it only the do four like damage to their fine. Saves. And neither does Hector. You take a whole whopping four damage. Ouchies. My soul. My soul hit that. Heard that four damage. <laughs> Look at it. It shriveled. Alright, oh, calm down, Zen Monk. <laughs> okay, he's gonna hit, and I'm, I'm gonna uh, assume Afnasius is probably gonna want to grapple this guy with the bonus action. I mean, you know, when in Rome, grapple muscular men. I... Okay. <laughs> okay, he actually fucked that up. He rolled a six. <laughs> That's not cool. No. Wait, wait, the, wait, the hoplite did? The hoplite or... just grappled. With the most simple <laughs> rolling. <laughs> I'm going to punish this half-life. After taking 15. Who said, who said that? Me, Sorry. I have a plan that won't kill it. Born lip. You also have the roll. Uh, I'm going to move to here and pat Athanasios on the back, casting Cure Wounds at second level. Good, he had seven hit points. He now has 22. 
With seven hit points, that's a whole two good cannon blast. Wait, are any of my cantrips even? I don't think any of my cantrips are bonus actions at all actions. This is bad. Just become a cool rad sorcerer and cast everything with bonus actions. Okay. See, I wasn't allowed to take that feat, it was banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Meta Magic Initiate is just so cheesy. It just t it takes away the, the the only like the defining thing. My one of. cool thing. Well, your subclass <laughs> adds things, but I'm just saying like the defining thing yeah. of the sorcerers is their meta meta magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't the meta magic for the wizard still before? Yeah, apparently they did change it, but in five e it kind of does take away everything from the sorcerer, just like if you give it. So it really isn't this defining feature, it's kind of stolen. Okay. Well, just like all sorcerer magic, it's pretty much stolen. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's just warlocks mostly. No, warlocks are sugar babies. True. Oh, crap. All right. I, I forgot that I was playing. My bad. <laughs> uh, uh, right. I am gonna Fusro Da. But more like a horrible gag reflex, so I'm going to use the line version of Draconic Breath to hit this fine gentleman. Okay. How can and... <laughs> He passes now that three. Aw, oh, you. Well, that's half that. This is an incredibly resilient hoplite. Yeah, they have a plus five to dex and strength save. Can we keep him? What about their cons? <laughs> uh, okay, he's gonna try and break the grapple. Actually, you know what? He's not gonna bother. He's gonna attack. I feel like I should. My character should just carry around a copy of the Geneva Convention to hold him. Okay, all three hit. He mm -hmm. takes. Can we hit him while grappled? Nice. Yeah, you can. All grappling really does is just drop your speed to zero. Yawn. It's called CC. <laughs> Alright. Uh, huh. Well, I got spells. They're real. They're magic with real folks. Uh, let's see. What what are, what spells does that include? Hmm. I might just go for the axe again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go for the axe again. I don't think Shadow Blade is warranted here. Uh. I mean, yeah. you can always look fancy. But... <laughs> Always look fancy at the cost of one of my incredibly limited second level spells. <laughs> Just the man is... I did. Oh wait, how do I how do I stop talking to GM? God damn it! <laughs> there is a thing on your sheet by the top. It'll say GM and public, I think. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Shoot. Switch it my to... bad. And yeah, an 11 will miss, Masali. Yes, an 11 does miss. <sighs> Alright. So hear me out. Should we keep him alive? Or alive? Yes, or... alive, please. Can I keep a copy of the Geneva Convention on me permanently, please? Oh, for the <laughs> love of God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an actual religious symbol. <laughs> yeah, he's... When you speak, uh, he see. just... He... Um, he talks in a slightly different um, version of Kalasan than you're used to. How rough is he looking? He's actually not looking that rough at all. He is, uh, he is above <sighs> and half hit points. I'm gonna take the banner that I repaired. Yeah. I'm gonna hit him over the fucking head with it. <laughs> I'm assuming that wouldn't deal a lot of damage, but 
It looks nice. <laughs> okay, roll so a dex check. Yes, I'll flank with Yawn. <laughs> okay, dex check. I am the banner bearer! <laughs> Fear my mighty strike! Roll 24! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's decent damage. He is not bloody. Damn, damn. <laughs> and probably concussed. <laughs> Can I say the See, bloody oh, symbol? Shit. I'm gonna put the the um the confused and uh, charmed one. <laughs> Which is more fitting after getting <laughs> bonked. Okay, Afanasios is going to attack. Wait, no, don't do it. <laughs> Miss. Oh, <laughs> oh Afanasios. Skylar. You really suck at this adventuring thing. Can I do non-lethal psychic damage? <laughs> That's called no, trauma. No. You can only do non lethal damage if it's a melee attack. Um. Grab a miscellaneous item, I have a shovel. Use your instrument! That's a motor head of the flute. Um. Al Walker. And then, f for the f first time ever, you see me take out a dagger and now uh, shank him. <laughs> I'm shank non lethally, you're just fucking gonna shank him for this. I non lethally, -lethally shank him. <laughs> I'll roll that you're probably smacking him on the head with the pommel. <laughs> Max damage. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> and to top it all off, you could flank with uh, the good Sal. Uh, uh, Alright, sure, I guess. Alright then, and to top it off, a good old bonk over the head never hurts anyone. Besides the person who I'm hitting. Okay, that just hits. Uh well, should have just Okay, he does get an God. attack of opportunity against you. For four damage. Did he actually save two reactions just to get to me? Probably. God He's stab damn the person it, man. that looks more dangerous. <laughs> this this is penance for the spear throwing at the at the dinghy. This is penance. You're I paying. It'd be penance. I I would say no. On his turn, Hector. he's gonna stab Athanasius three times. Hector looks more dangerous, but I looked at two of his friends and I started bleeding from the ears. <laughs> that just okay. shows how good you're singing. Athanasius is <laughs> down. Oh, he's down? Did you just say Athanasius is down? Yes. So he's no longer grab. He might actually want to start he's seeing no a good guy. So he's going. He's gonna stay put because that's a lot of opportunity attacks. <laughs> You're my banner coward. Move yeah. you coward. <laughs> <laughs> Fear my stolen banner from you. Fear your banner. Fear all banners. Oh, it's me. Yep. Ah, uh, dang it. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, I'm really frustrated that this axe isn't working. <laughs> um, oh. hmm. I mean, it's being wielded by a twig. I don't know how well it would All right. All right. All right. All right. We're good. No, that was for that was for wild magic, but uh. <laughs> All right, Shadow Blade. This is all of Yon's pent up anger in the form of a sword. It's I have my own just, damage. Yeah, you literally cra um, carve a sword out of the Shadow Fell's shadow stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm proficient in it, I guess. 
Is it the same roll as hand dex then? Uh, it is a finesse light. It's friendly. finesse, you so you can use a dex. Dex or strength. I can use Depend dex. You can use whichever one is best. I'm better at dex, so. I believe you're just wielding thick shadows. Uh, so 15 plus. Oh, yeah. Uh, 15 Wait. plus. You have a proficiency of 4 now, right? Or, uh. uh that's at 5th level. Two. 3. Uh, of 3. Oh, yeah, so then it hits, right? Yep. Wait, 12. My level 4, aren't we? 1, 2, 3. Oh, flanking? No, yeah, yeah, it just hits due to flanking. Oh, goddammit, Brady. Mm -hmm. um, FNS's player never actually put the level 4 into his character sheet, so. He... Though, mm. actually, no, it's a 17. You only have a plus 2. Oh, You'll just miss. Wait, what? He's also 12, flanking. Three, that's a oh, 15. yes, plus 2 from flanking. Yeah. So, yes, mm. that will hit. Roll damage. Alright. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Oh. Jesus. Alright, well, <laughs> so much after wonderful. several misses with a hand axe. Jan just kind of smacks his hands together. His eyes are like a solid black as like liquid leaks out of it like tears into his wrists and his hands and it solidifies into what is essentially a kitchen knife as he <laughs> digs it very, very deep into the eye slot of the helmet. And it's immaterial. And then the... So it just yep. it tricks the body into thinking he was just stabbed in the eye. <laughs> Dang it, I should have done booming blade on it. <laughs> Nathalie just kind of like freezes for a moment. I'm sorry, did I misunderstood something? If, if I were doing non-lethal, did I fuck up? <laughs> no, the... Are you okay, Darion? Are you crying? Do you need a tissue? No, I'm fine. <laughs> For a record of what these guys' armor and garb looks like, we've got some awesome art from a, from a man named, weirdly enough, Lemon Juice. Um, right. Is ah oh, damn, that is some sick Roman-esque armor. It's Roman like as soon as Roman it comes around to my awesome. Those are Fiodrin hoplites. Hmm. As soon as it comes back around to my turn, I'm healing Athanasios for eight okay. health. Yeah, so we're we out of initiative, so there's no worries. You can do that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just because Nasali kind of feels bad, he's also going to heal him. Mm -hmm. Put a first level spell slot. Oh, fuck. Uh, can I, uh, can Hector try and identify these guys? Oh, jeez. Give me a history check. If I fail, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow someone else to also do it. I have plus six to history, so I'll take the liberty. Okay. You've traveled a bit. Please. That's the thing. My, my history wow. involves restaurants, that's about it. Okay, you recognize these to be an. They're a fairly formidable unit, and this is only a. Like, this is free out of an entire legion of them. These are. Um, these are the Iron. Um, free hoplites from the Iron Claw Legion. Uh -uh. Alright. Does that. Is that Lady Drachma's legion by any chance? Do you search the bodies? Nasali would be searching the body before he starts thinking about who we just killed. Okay, you find a letter signed by Lady Drachma. Seeking what is the le to, oh. um, to find, recover the amulet, and kill the Eye of Darkness. Oh no. <laughs> nice late on the way that this babe, she's supposed to die, right? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Think about up. that! Think what the events transpired, why she would have been chill. Hmm. Yeah, she, she knew that we were coming, she probably knew that she was about to die, right? Uh... So, this 
Or she probably knew that we were going to protect her and the amulet better than she could. Well, that will fate decide yeah. a little bit of Wouldn't have been <laughs> funny as fuck well if we failed. We <laughs> decided <laughs> <laughs> by dying. Is there a way like, to um, actually <laughs> try to defy fate? Well, we don't know what fate is, so we can't really defy it. <laughs> well, the concept of fate well, can kidding. be explained as fate, given that any type of movement or decision can be said to be your fate. So there is no real way to defy fate, given its definition is whatever you do. Alright, now Sally Hawkins, understandable. Um, I mean, my last name isn't Hawkins. <laughs> ah, close enough. So, should we try and help her? I think we just did, by killing the people who were sent to assassinate her. This is most definitely not the entirety of your group. Yeah, but I don't think you need to send a hundred people to kill one old lady. I mean, might be all strong old lady. Yeah, ended up dead. I mean, either way, the lady must know that they're coming. She is a seer after all, so... Except the death stack, other yada yada. Do you think she expected us to, to help her though? I mean, I'm pretty sure they would have killed us either way, so. But they didn't, as Nasali points to the bodies. How do we know this? Oh, yeah, it's because. Dumb luck. How do we know this is the only group? We just happened upon this one. Well, they have. There's an entire lead. No, never mind. Like. These had a letter to kill the Hand of Faith, or the Eyes of Faith. Who's to say more groups weren't given one? Ooh, yeah, so we would just it... raid by... Oh, hey guys, thanks for the raid. <laughs> Wait, who raided us? Welcome, uh, thank you, you Ferret World Builder. Very cool, oh. very cool. So anyways... No, that that's over. Want to see my renegade? <laughs> <laughs> you see my Let's talk about today's sponsor, right? Oh, sh Shadow oh shut up. I've been, pla I've been plagued by freaking uh, okay, no. ads from them. Just can it. Speaking about raid, if people are going to be staying from the stream, I'm like from the raid, if you could remove the raid referral from the UR, so you will be counted as a viewer, that would help us out. That would, and also, if you don't... Oh, pop a follow if you guys want to see more D&D content every week of this game. Oh. Uh, Alright, let's get back to figuring out how to protect the only person <laughs> that has been helpful check. to the future. <laughs> now, you remember when you said, we are going to kidnap her? We're not. We're, We're not. not kidnapping her. We're guarding her. DM, That's can a I, difference. Can I so, will into existence a copy of the someone <laughs> without their will? First of all, Geneva's not a location <laughs> in Asaria. And. <laughs> the Nasaria Convention. <laughs> That's why I said, can I will it into existence? Though, <laughs> <laughs> so if you get a good sense, it would exactly be problem. Um, I don't think should... she wants to leave. Should we head back and just make sure she's doing okay? I mean, it would save us some time and a sound mind, would it not? I think that's fair. Yeah, let's go check on her. But oh, sure. that, I would like to check what type of weapons these people were using. They Probably have... spear. <laughs> Spears, shields, and plate armor. Ooh. She, I think it's breastplates, actually. Did you make that yeah. bag of holding? Um, breastplates and nope. shields. And they have spears. Uh, spears. I'll take the spears and the shields. Okay. <laughs> My inventory is a mess. <laughs> Knowing you, definitely. And how many of uh, each are there? I'm assuming three, right? Yes. There are three sets of okay, each. Okay. So shall hmm. we come backwards or are we to just assume that she'll be fine? I suppose we should do we should check, check on them out. Yeah. Let's just... For ease of mind. Backwards. 
Right? Uh, is anyone? Well, I'm assuming everyone, but Athan Athanios is healthy enough. Athanios <laughs> was given 19 hit points. I'm gonna tap on him and give him four more. Don't say anything if you if you want us to go to the uh, cabin and check it out. Like when no one said nothing. Let's go. How many hit points? All right. You eight. Uh, you got eight and... from me, eleven from Nasali, and then four from me. Okay. Okay. We're helpful sometimes. We're so dang helpful. <laughs> In between the wild oh and the dream, I'm trying to also like helping my teammates. <laughs> you can't violate co a convention if it doesn't exist. <laughs> it's true. I'll, it's true. I'll make it exist. <laughs> and before Skyler, you do... is that you can't just go? You're just going to write a bunch of laws now. You don't know that. We don't know that. It could be. Sally will write the anti Skyler convention. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, calm down with the communist manifesto. <laughs> so, you head back now, let's to, not... and to the Eye of the Darkness abode, and you find her continuing to just be uh, peacefully sipping tea. She gives you a knowing look, and um, that she knew and um, she trusts in fate and um, uh, completely, being. An eye to the unseen um, path. Mm -hmm. Right? Actually, if you went through the trouble of coming back here, could you get some of those tea leaves? <laughs> you <laughs> look to your side and there's a, um, a little um, jar full of tea leaves. Oh, God. It just materialized? No, it was sitting there the entire time. And you're <laughs> As fate intended. <laughs> Nasali's gonna look at you to decide expecting a catapult. <laughs> I don't know if this is Skylar Brand being smart or being dumb, but if she believes in fate so much, would she believe in free will? Fuck, you're a hive mind, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we are. It's very deterministic uh... in a sense. And um, where she she trusts in the um, in things happen for a reason, and she's a diviner, so she's constantly scrying and as a general and um, almost natural and um, and sense of the future, like almost like a almost a somewhat of a permanent foresight um, spell cast on her. Huh. Is, I don't suppose there's any chance you can look at pasts, can you? It is possible. What would you, strands of fate, would you like to see? I don't know, could you maybe go, uh... <laughs> hmm, like two years back? I don't know. What was I doing two years ago? I see... Thousands. And a shining blade wielded by one with red eyes. That is all I can see. Wasn't that also the future? Okay, well that's concerning. <laughs> <laughs> they all want in the same. Alright. I guess that means I know something about what's going to happen soon. I'm going to take this as a positive thing, a very tentatively positive thing. When and I'm going... <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's just go adventure. Let's go do that. When I heard Strands of Fate, my mind went, Can I have the ukulele of Fate, please? <laughs> <laughs> no. The cursed The ukulele of... <laughs> yeah, the cursed um, instrument of the bards. The one no one talks about. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can you repeat that prophecy really quick so I can write it down? <laughs> Which one? The one I just got, or not the prophecy, but like the thing she just said about me two years ago. She um, she saw thousands of dead bodies, and 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 she and sees one lone person standing. 
with a shining blade and red eyes. Okay. Uh. Good to know. All right, is I have he, that written down. Is Yon secretly Manusan? <laughs> <laughs> Now that would be a plot twist. <laughs> I don't that see any, would be a... I don't see any astral chains binding Yon and... and uh, <laughs> hey, you never know. None Yon of is the, the, the final think. boss fight all this along. I think he has the magic rope. <laughs> I do have I the mean, magic yeah. rope. None of us have, like, true sight or true vision. Yeah. So he could have chains holding him down. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'll get... Eventually, I'll get true sight, so... <laughs> so shall we head back to the boat, given that... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fine. You head... Also, Nestle is taking the two weeks. <laughs> yeah. You start heading back to, um, to the city. Though... On the second day of travel, when the city comes into view, a giant pillar of smoke from within the city towers a warning danger has struck all right let's avoid the city and go to the boat let's just tiptoe around the wall <laughs> effectively yes i mean hey aren't these people technically our political enemies yes i don't know i feel like there are some people in there that i don't Particularly want dead in a fire. And Guys, given we should we probably save them. them. They might be in danger. We should probably try and save as many people as we can. That would be highly inadvisable. We currently have a very hated artifact from them, and if they find out, they shall confiscate it just as the ship. If a battle is raging right now, there's a higher chance that we might grab a ship and will basically sail through the skirmish of it all. But I'm assuming their defenses wouldn't be on the port side. But there's people in danger. We should try our best. There were people in danger in the forest who attacked us. You didn't seem very sympathetic to them. They attacked us first and they were trying to kill the eyes of fate. They were clearly evil. Yes, and they still were in danger. What was the difference between these people, who are about to steal our artifact, who want to stop us in our quest, and are in a general hindrance to us, and the people back there, who wanted to once more stop us in our overall quest? The citizens of the city are innocent, and if they're in danger, we should try our best to save them. I agree with Skylar. I think if there's nothing we can do, we can leave, but I feel like I feel wrong for not at least trying to see what's wrong there. I have a general feeling that the artifact is just gonna get stolen and all of our progress is gonna get backtracked. Like, I like yeah. citizens, but I like getting paid as well. I believe I'll head back to the boat. I do not want to put necess unnecessary risks on our overall quest. Alright. Then Skylar and I will check, but we won't. Uh, you guys can take the amulet. So, about getting to the ship. Oh, for the love There's of God. There's a blockade of long shots. <laughs> what so banner? Ship fast enough. Couldn't we theoretically just? Wait, wait. What banner are the enemy ships wielding? Hello. They are wielding. Hmm. I'm gonna. Even though he's not here, Fulgur would recognize them as people of, um, of the old Northrop ways. The Outlander people, who are the same people who attacked you on your um, travels back um, to uh, Aritas. Okay, so we'll know what their banner looks like, and I'm assuming you can see from here. Which means... Huh. Could we possibly... Well, could Nasali possibly try to make a makeshift banner given some free cloth and whatnot and put it on the front of the ship as to mark us as a friendly ship to the enemy faction so we could sail out? The, sh the Star Tempest looks nothing like a Nofoki longship. Well, they don't look like intelligent people, so... <laughs> wait, wait, we let two soldiers escape, correct? 
So yes, uh, three. Or three. In theory, wouldn't they have, uh, you know, gotten around to our ship and, like, I don't know about informed everyone, but at least informed some higher up people in their forces that our ship is dangerous? Are there any beach enemy ships? Is another question. There are some that are, and that there are there are they're guarded. Though you can see there are people assaulting from all sides of the city. Uh, Hector, do you think we could steal one of the enemy ships and sail off on it? Yes, but I doubt they will let us through. Oh, that's why we would steal an enemy ship. If you could get a big sense of their uniform or whatever clothes they're clad in, it wouldn't, probably... be it wouldn't be necessarily that suspicious as an under squatted ship is possibly retreating to get more men and or fix itself up. Uh, what are we going to do about the other ship and the people there? It's all just like glares at you. Alright, calm down. <sighs> Sure, yeah, I mean, is... and has a low chance of working, I'm gonna be honest with you, but sure, I guess I'll... we can try. Wouldn't well, you like to at least see what they're doing to the city? Like, probably raiding it, right? But like... We split up. Yeah, we did split up, so... Yeah. Okay. And those heading towards the... and um, closer to the city, you notice... and um, there are some people trying to break down the gate. Um, by hand, as one of them um, stands and um, watch, uh, as there is battle within the city, though these seem to be uh, trying to open up even more entrances to uh, to the city. Question: It mm. took us over a day to get here, correct? Yes. Meaning we took a long rest. Yes, everyone is practical. Um. Mm -mm. Do they look like the raiders that attacked us when we were at sea? These are wearing similar garbs, though it's not the exact same um, type of warrior. Hmm. I'm trying to think if Skylar would think that's from the same place, therefore they must be evil. Um. Are there any that's within five feet of another one? Uh, no. They, two of them are um, punching the gate, actually. Trying to break it by fist. So they've got um, ten feet between them. And another is standing a bit even further um, away from the gate. Mm. This is a complicated scenario indeed. Well, are we under obligation to save them? The citizens are innocent in all of them. I mean, I know they're innocent, but so are we, and we're also still alive. But we have the means to help them. Do we? Let's try. <sighs> well... I'm gonna... We cast unearthly chorus and make just very loud beating drums and then start walking towards the people you see them stop and um, and um, punching the gate and they actually turn and actually just give a war cry of their own stand down or more people will be coming who are currently in hiding. Uh, the, um, they're actually all female soldiers, and you hear the one that's guarding um, um, call out, Then Isgard will take us! This will be glorious! Stop your cowering and fight us like honorable um, warriors! Okay! Fine. And I cast mine <laughs> on the one that was talking. You cast what on the one? Mind thrust. 
All right, I'm on your side now, Skylar. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, how many people were heading to the gate? Only me and Jan. Okay. We never decided for Athanasios, actually. I'll have Athanasios with you, too. Because <laughs> you don't want us to die. That's fair. <laughs> mm. I'm kind of annoyed that I made Skylar so not wise. Because a wise person would know that this is probably something that they shouldn't get involved with, but Skylar wants to do good no matter what and isn't wise enough to make that decision. And Neon really doesn't want to object to Skylar because people that have objected to Skylar previously. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I don't think you're able to reject to me. Okay, um, uh, they pass. That means they take half damage. That's still bloodies, then. Hmm. Take that as you will. Roll initiative. That was a bonus action, so on top of that, could I also do another thing? Or would that not be allowed? Yes, you can. That's a... It's a cantrip, right? Um, that was a level 2 spell, so the next one will have to be a cantrip. Yeah. Um, I will, at the same time as doing that, cast Fireball on them. <laughs> That's only a 12, and 2 damage. Uh, 12 actually hits, and they take 2 damage. Pick the second one. Sorry, chat, another one saying, oh, wanna be famous? Oh no. <laughs> there was another one. But... Luckily I spotted it straight away, but like Ooh, uh hold on. Uh you guys are gonna have to might have to re-roll. Oh yeah, yeah, it's all good. I forgot to check the map. <laughs> I still mm. got bad on the second one. I got better than her, that's That's all that matters. Yeah. I turn to Yon and Athanasios as like free speech and just say, Stay back, let me approach them. Athanasios turns and says, Sure, go ahead. Yon, <laughs> uh, are you. Is, is non violence the goal here? <laughs> <laughs> Sure, you can think that. Okay, all right. You... I think. <laughs> well, the one that you mind frosted and slightly toasted has a weapon in her hand. The other two turn and just bare fists toward you. Okay. Did they both roll a zero? Or was that a mess? Uh, no, that's I... just me adding them to the turn order. And because I'm rolling physical dice for them. <laughs> that is that is only five feet of distance between them. Yeah, from the back. But they're not They're not within five foot. Yeah. Yeah. I, they're guess. Technically I was ten gonna cast crown of madness on one of them, but it wouldn't have worked. Okay. Let me just delete the wrong yon. The oh. incorrect yon. And add oh, wait. I don't actually need to. The, the chat only sees the proper one. Um, you also need to add at the massive. Oh, yeah. Okay, Yon, your turn. Hmm. Right, well, reckon I should finish off the one in the front for you. Uh, unless you don't want that, Skylar? You cool with that, or no? You can do that, just let me approach them. I don't like this usage of the word approach. It's <laughs> making me a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> But, uh... <laughs> I think the DM knows exactly what I'm thinking. I don't, and All it right. scares me. 
<laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll just ice knife one of them in the back. One of the, like, I, I don't mean, like, in the back, but, like, one of the back ones. Let's see. Okay, that's a dex save, I believe. No, it's a ranged attack. Mm -hmm. It's and a ranged oh, attack. Oh, oh, so, roll a d20, add your, I think, your proficiency and charisma modifier. It's... Oh, oh. Uh, save. Two, wait, but I have a lot of other stuff. Hold on. <laughs> Was that, would the two not be for bloody touch? Instead of. Oh, play. oh, yeah, oh, oh, wait, yeah, I needed, to, that was, yeah, ma a wild magic roll. <laughs> that was welcome. definitely, that was yeah. definitely my wild magic roll, and not my roll to hit. Alright, eight's better. Eight plus six plus uh, two. So, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, Sixteen. That just hits. Roll huh. the uh, 2d6. Okay. I like that. I like when things work. Which isn't often. Uh, okay, so... That... But, uh, also, the one I hit takes, an extra, uh, takes a d10 as well. Well, the one you hit... The other ones don't take any. Oh no, yeah, it's it. um, it's not two d six. That's for the other people. Uh, it's just a d ten then. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. Yeah, I have misread the spell. Please. D ten. Yeah, five damage. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm annoyed okay. because the monk. Yeah, really. Okay, first monk is going to throw three darts at you because you attacked. That's fair. I mean, their cans can't be that, like, dexterous if they've been punching a wall for a while. <laughs> I don't know, I guess they're trained in wall punching. Okay, that <laughs> is... Um, all hits. Oh wait, no, uh, one will miss, actually. Uh, for 15. <sighs> Or does it hit? Wunderbar. Actually, can I can I shield? You can shield if you want. Uh, do you I'm gonna shield. The first two definitely hit. And um, what is your AC when shielded? Uh, well, it increases uh um by five. So uh, I'm at eighteen now. Okay. Uh, so only two of them miss. Or. Uh, they got a 20 and a 24 total, so that is... Plus Dang it, six. why did I shield? <laughs> Actually, okay, no, you... wait. The shield lasts till my next turn, so... Yeah, if you take any other attacks. Uh, you take 11 points of damage, uh, piercing. Hmm. Ouchies. Oh, Eric. Oh, wait. She would have actually had to move. Uh, 20. Feels not so good, man. Yeah, you just got t two daggers sticking out of your chest. This is the ideal situation for Nasali's cannon, and I'm, like, imagining that in my head. The other one's gonna move here and throw three darts into. The one that attacked their tribal warrior. I hope they miss, but I've got an AC of 12, so they won't. Uh, yeah. 12, uh, so 17, 15, and 16. <laughs> I could shield you. You've already used your reaction. Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. So we got... 9... Plus five, so that is 14 po points of piercing damage as you get hit by uh, three darts. Uh, Athanasius will probably want to rage. Probably. Charge one of them. It's what he would want. So he's gonna attack. Hits. 
Why am I physically rolling all this dice? He's got a character sheet. <laughs> because mean, physically rolling them is so much more fun. Clack, clack, rocks. <laughs> clack, clack, rocks. <laughs> okay, what's this? I'm... I love how there's still the deep drums of unearthly chorus going. It's 10, <laughs> yeah, 12 damage. Actually, no, I need to roll constitution to actually see if that... Yeah, no, that failed. I think at least, did it? Yeah. The drums. The drums are dead! It's fine. I'm about to intimidate the fuck out of it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nasali and Hector are just chilling on the boat with the crew, knowing they can't leave, but they're just chilling. I'm gonna uh, get back to them after this combat. Skylar, your turn. Oh, wait, uh, no. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna slowly walk up this one. And... Why didn't that work? Necrotic Shroud. Okay! Um... As you see, and um, Skylar sprouts skeletal wings, and the air turns frigid. And, hmm? and their eyes turn dark. So... 10 feet. Athanasius is fine, so it's just three of them. Hmm. Okay. This is why I didn't use to walk up. This is also the first time you've seen this. The only time <laughs> yeah. you Yeah. This what happens reminds you of when I went unconscious in the dungeon and the croc energy was like going okay. up and down my arm. Uh, it's both... very And the two monks fail. Let me see for the tribal. Hmm. They all three of them fail, and they are now frightened as all hell as a demon angel just walked up to them. That's not even an action or anything, that's just I can do it. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it's a bonus action. It's a bonus action. Um, and then I'm gonna toll the dead, the one in front of me. Which yeah. deals an extra three necrotic damage, so it's eleven. Yeah, they're not gonna pass with a three, so then they had four hit points left. <laughs> I turn around to face the monks and go, I told you you should have stood down. <laughs> At this point, Athanasius looks and just says, What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, skipping. The tribal's turn, we get back to Yon. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> well, with that uh, necrotic event, uh, Yon's a little uncomfortable for <laughs> backstory <laughs> reasons. <laughs> yeah, their eyes are just black, and they've got this unsettling half, like, not even a full, not a full smile, just this creepy air to them. Hmm. Well, let me just, uh, let me actually, hold on, how many feet is that? Oh, it's enough. Uh, Athanasios and I will start a new grinding machine, in which I will move here, and I'm gonna cast my good boy Lightning Lure. Um... They gotta do a strength saving throw. And then they'll get pulled in between Athanasios and I. Wait. <laughs> uh, uh, movement, so I can't be kind of... They rolled a total of 20, so they pass. Alright. Uh, so I just sort of throw a big old lightning thing and it 
just does nothing. It's just there. It's just chilling. Uh, so, uh, is that the end of your turn? Okay, uh, the, the one is going to punch the ever-living shit out of Athanasios. Miss, miss, and miss. Wow. We all managed to roll below a, um, a, a 12. Second one is going to punch at Skylar. After moving to flank. Wait, it's frightened. That just means disadvantage on attacks. Can I also not move closer and technically not moving back? Damn it. They may, they're still within. Miss. Crit fail. Miss. <laughs> Athanasios is going to take a swing. Good damage in the monk. Or as uh, Bolo's guide would like to uh, tell you, martial arts adept. Skylar. The one that tried to attack me, I'm going to turn to it and say, You should really try listening to me and cast Mind Thrust. And then after that, I'll do to all the dead. But I'll wait until fail. the train will It will take damage no matter what. And they fail. Nineteen, actually, twenty-two. Sweet, sweet damage. Because each turn I add. Wait, no, it should be four necrotic because I'm level four. So it would be twenty-three, and then yeah. an extra damage from last turn, technically. Actually, no, that was on the other one. Ignore me. Yeah, okay. I have them at twenty-three. Okay, bringing it to Yon. You there, Yon? Oh, Yon left the voice oh, channel. Okay. Yon uh, died. BRB something. Um, we'll hold their turn for now. Okay. This is going to be three attacks against Athanasios. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's two crits. Have to thirteen. Now two. Wait, my strength. Oh, 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 oh. It's Dex Okay, he's prone, but not. Um, stunned. Bringing it to Athanasios. Oh wait, no, it's, um, uh, this monkey is going to disengage and probably just... As it starts running away, I'm going to say, 
You can run, but you can't hide. Uh, let's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. They still have another twenty movement. They're gonna climb up the wall. <laughs> Out of your view. Wait, so I can't see them now. No, they're a monk. They can climb walls. Nurses is gonna get up and swing an axe. There's your boy. That's pretty And with that, Athanasius decapitates a monk. Uh, if I move back, would the, is there a chance I would be able to like see the monk, like the top of the monk? Uh, no, they are crouched. They got the parapets in here. All of my stuff is like a Thanks. target you can see. Um, you have one ability that doesn't require line of sight. Wall. Uh, a certain spell that doesn't require line of sight to hit. Uh, 3d4 damage. Um, a creature of your choice you can see within range. Really? This one yep. missile doesn't require line of sight. You can hit someone in full cover. I mean, if that's how you're going to rule it, but it says to me at least. I might have be down the thing, but it says each dot hits a creature of your choice that you can see within range. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can hit them if it's like full cover, but if it's like half cover or three fourths. Because, like, you Weird. can't cast a spell if you can't see the person, but you can like, cast it on fucking okay, then I'm... Casper the Ghost. I called bullshit on one thing that downed me in. There's a straw, but never mind. Uh, okay, and then they're f then you can't do anything to them. What are you gonna do? Um. Um. How high is the wall? What, 20 foot high? I'm gonna turn to Athanasios and... How high do you think you can chuck me? <laughs> he cannot chuck you 20 feet. That's sad. I guess I'm gonna have to... Oh, I'm tempted to try to climb, but I know that I won't be able to. Fuck it, Skylar's half been... Skylar's just not in the frame of mind to not go after them, so you know what, I'm gonna try and climb. Okay, uh, each... it counts as difficult to rain. Uh, I'm gonna need you to give me an athletics check. Hey. Okay. Uh, you managed with a dash, you can manage to actually get up there. I will dash, and then bonus action mind thrust. <laughs> That's so little damage. But it's an extra four, so it's nine damage. Okay. A fail. <laughs> like I said, you can't hide. Uh, Yon, are you there? Oh, His power went Alakin... on, he's out of the game. Okay, uh, uh we, will, we will then end after this encounter, because... That's a bit... Yeah, yeah We have um... been going for three hours now. <laughs> yeah. Okay... Uh, how far can I go? Yes, run. 
Maybe you can't run all, all the way up there. You can start climbing, I guess. You know. That's the way you're getting into the city. Uh, I guess the monks are going to start punching you. Okay. Wait, they failed the mine first. They're going to keep running. Yeah, they can only disengage or dash, and they're still Five, frightened seven, of me, so they couldn't move close. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 80, and I believe you can't see that. Yeah, you can see them. They ducked her behind a building over 80 feet away. Um, They're monks. They can move fast. I'll just wait for it to become my eye turn and see, because currently I can't see that entire side of the city with my line of vision. And I have spells with 120 feet, so if I can see them, they're fucked. Mm, on your turn? Yeah, uh, because to your turn? Oh. Yank. Um. Okay. I'm gonna say, after this round, the monk is probably gonna skedaddle somewhere else. You can't find them. Is this like a bit that I can walk on top of? Uh, yeah, you could. How much more? Uh, it wouldn't have cost you that much. It's a small farm. Um, I still can't see them. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna disappear from here. And I'm going to ready an action for if they come back into view, I'm going to cast a magic missile. Tell me if you see them. On their turn, they're going to move. Five, ten, off map. Yeah, no, I can't see them. Okay, they managed to escape. And with that, yeah, we shall end combat. Unfortunately, with another player down i think we're gonna end stream so we can have as many people as possible in this uh, series of encounters for next week thank you everyone for joining and thanks for the um raid it is great to see more people watching us well that will be up on monday and uh, same time and we will be back same time next week 1 p.m. is time. Thanks for watching. I don't know how to do an outro. <laughs> That's just a theory. Egg. Okay. Oh, oh god. <laughs> and <laughs> we're putting all of you. <laughs> we are raiding. Oh, who are you raiding? Uh, never been in beat time. Hey. D and D is a good. It's a good. It's a good. Are they even reading thing. us? Is my question. People can read when they end the stream. Why the fuck would anyone read the stream when it's ended? How sad do you have to be? Like when no, we, we end the stream.